So it's been a massive year for Hollyoaks. What has been your highlight? Oh, it's tough a one. really difficult one, isn't it? One, um, I mean, obviously, the week we've just had on screen has been epic and one of our groundbreaking storylines that we do so well and, you know, has had a lot of people involved and has, and has got a lot of attention in a really good way and has, I think, fingers crossed, has helped a lot of people. So yeah. that certainly, so far, That's has been one of our biggest highlights this year. But there's yeah. always so many to choose from, isn't there? I know, there? it's like, you never know which one to pick because every so often, I think Hollyoaks does the kind of issue-based stuff and then it does the light, crazy, kind of fun stuff that we all love. And I I love that just as much as the serious stuff. So it's really hard to sometimes pick what your favourite story is because there's that many going off at once that it's really tough. And what can you tell us is coming up? Obviously, this affair that um, she's been, Mandy has been having, yeah, this, is, this has got to come out soon, surely. Well, well, you think so. I mean, it's been going on now for nearly a year or over a year and, yeah, things do come to a head quite soon and then obviously off of that there's repercussions and then it just continues and continues. I mean, I love this storyline so much because I feel like it's so real and there's so many people love it or hate it and I know a lot of people are hating it, but it, I think Naughty that's Mandy. because... But you know what? I think that's because people can relate to it and yeah, I, yeah. I like the storyline because I think it... Um, targets are it's like the older older audience who can kind of go oh my god that that's been me or I know a friend that's done that or you know a, a relationship is separated because of similar circumstances then children are involved and so I like it because of that and you know I like that it's kind of torn the audience a little bit. And do you ever find when the audience are debating this it, it, is it ever the case that the female character tends to come in for a, a bit of a rougher ride than the male character it's something that's something that people have said in the past when they've been involved in affair stories that Sometimes the woman is judged a lot harsher than the man who's a bit of a lad. Yeah, do you know what? I think with this one, I think Mandy and Darren have kind of... They've both been almost as bad as each other. And I think the person that everyone's feeling sorry for is Nancy. Understandably, you know, she's completely unawares. And, um, and Nancy and Luke are, are suffering from this without even really knowing. So, yeah, I think it's, it's kind of balanced quite well, this one, in that actually the man and the woman are, are taking the brunt of the blame, yeah. And, uh, and are you quite looking forward to the scenes where it's all going to come out? And are you missing having Gary Lucy around? Because obviously he's away for a while. Gary, yeah. I mean, it's so weird without him. We're literally like, we filmed his last scenes and then I was off work for a couple of weeks. So when I came back, I kind of expected him to be there and then realised that he wasn't. And he just brings in such an energy. And um, yeah, it, it's mad without him, but we, we miss him. Hopefully he'll be back.